Good morning, everyone. We're so excited to see you today. And we're so excited to share the magic of pollination with you. I'm Abby the Bumblebee Fairy, and I care for all of my bee friends. I always make sure that there is enough flowers in the fields and forests so that they have enough pollen and nectar to eat. When we have free time, we love to dance on top of the flower tops. My name is Ella and I'm the Echinacea Fairy. I live in the meadow and travel to all the Echinacea plants, giving them nectar for all my pollinator friends and medicinal magic for humans. Ella and I both love playing and helping the pollinators. Let's go explore the garden and see if we can find any pollinator friends to play with. Let's go! Look, Ella, a flower with a pollinator. Wow. A pollinator is an insect or animal friend that moves pollen from one plant to another. Some pollinators are looking for nectar in the flowers and some pollinators are searching for small insects to eat. Wow. Something magical happens when a pollinator crawls on the center of a flower. Pollen gets stuck to their body and their legs and then they move that pollen from one flower to another, which helps the plant survive and grow. The next time you're outside, look for some plants and flowers with pollen inside. Sometimes they look like fairy dust. Without pollinators, many plants wouldn't be able to produce fruit and seeds, which help to grow new plants. And those fruit and seeds are also a really important food source for enchanted beings, animals, and even humans. And without the plants, pollinators wouldn't have any food. The plants and the pollinators really do work together. How awesome is that? So awesome. I know that our friends, the bees and the butterflies are pollinators, but what are some other insect friends that are pollinators? That's a good question, Ella. There's lots of pollinators out there, many different types of insects, including ants, beetles, dragonflies, moths, all sorts of insects that would crawl across a flower. Even animals can be pollinators, like birds and bats and mice even sometimes. Wow, there are so many pollinators to look for. Mm -hmm. Let's go see if we can find any. Let's go. Having pollinators in the garden is so magical. It's fun to watch them dance on the flower tops and gather pollen and nectar to eat. To keep the pollinators happy and healthy, it's important to plant the right plant. Virginia mountain mint, which is this plant right here, is really popular by wasps. They have beautiful white flowers that are nice and flat and the bees can rest their wings while they take a snack. This is dense blazing star, and these tall, purple, fluffy looking flowers are great for pollinators. In the fall, the flower heads turn into seed heads, which are favorited by many birds. This is echinacea. Some people call it purple cone flower. The butterflies absolutely love this plant. The spiky centers make for perfect landing spots for butterflies and other awesome pollinator insects. These come in lots of different colors, and they're great for gardens. This is another type of echinacea or coneflower. The petals are much slender and taller and the plant itself is a lot taller as well. This is bee balm and as the name suggests, it's loved by bees and all of our pollinator friends. It has these really long tube-like flowers which their mouth fits perfectly into to suck out all that sweet nectar. When planting for pollinators, remember to choose a variety of colors and a mix of different plants so that pollinators always have some food to eat during the summer. Thanks for exploring the magic of pollination with us. Remember to keep your eye out for pollination happening in your yard. Maybe you'll even see a glimpse of Ella or I flying by helping our pollinator friends. Have a magical day. Bye!